bet on Kanye West. Kanye West is incredible. Just as he dropped one individual Christmas or Jesus related album and, and one Christmas related album with the Sunday service last year. This year, he brings about Sunday service again on Christmas. Emmanuel, the Lord is with us, drops five tracks, not in English, praising the Lord, but in Latin of all things. He hits you in the beginning with Requiem Eternum, which is a mass for the dead or the liturgy of death, the liturgy of eternity or forever. Then he hits you with O Miranox, O Holy Night. Then he hits you with O Magnum Mysterium, O Great Mystery, or O Magnif Magnificent, or if you even if you want Magnum Mystery. People are familiar with that, with the, another company that has that name. Pu'er little boy or servant or slave or minister or attendant or courtier and finally gloria which is obviously the glory he's different you know what he's absolutely different and he's said that his christianity is not a fad that it's long lasting if that is the case he started off with his protestant leaning tracks before now he's obviously delving deep into western history and going into the Latin church, the Roman rite, and he's showing us nobody has his range. Who can rap about the blasphemous things he's rapped about and then hit you with classic American Protestant black gospel music, hymns, spiritual songs, and then jump to the high church Latin hymns? People aren't ready for what he's doing. I'm going to make a bold prediction. My bold prediction is based off of what I've seen the ADOS community talking about. The ADOS community, the African descendants of slaves, black Americans who like to differentiate themselves from people like me who are more recent children of African immigrants and even people from the Caribbean. They like to point out that Barack Hussein Obama was not raised by his father, was raised by his mother who was white. And his father is from Kenya and so is not a part of the lineage that was abused in the United States. They like to point out that Kamala Harris, again, strangely, although she is very attached to her blackness and she has every right to do so, is black through her estranged father who is himself Jamaican and while the Jamaicans have been abused in their own special way, have a separate history from the abuse that was in the United States directed at the ADOS. And then she spends most of her time with her mother, who is of Indian heritage and, uh, you know, the OG, <laughs> the OG East Indies and has questionable ties or is tied to a community that has a questionable relationship. A lot of people point to Mahatma Gandhi's looking down on the blacks of South Africa. And some people have made some similar statements of some of the Indians who look down on the blacks of the Caribbean and wonder if some of Kamala Harris's top copness stems from that. And, uh, you know, not wanting to do anything specifically for black people anyway. Kanye West is thoroughly ADOS, is thoroughly a black American. Those credentials, even when he says uh, statements that piss people off like slavery is voluntary, that need a thousand pieces of explanation from him uh, and probably still should have been walked back, he's still thoroughly credentialed ADOS. Nobody could take that away from him. At the same time, his wife and his children are a member of my church, which is called the Oriental Orthodox Church, the Non-Chalcedonian Church, the Miaphysite Orthodox Church, or as I like to call it, the Afro-Asiatic Church, specifically the Armenian Apostolic Church, which is a member of my communion, including the Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahedo Church. So the Armenian Apostolic, I, I can imagine a year from now, he does a hymn, uh, a hymn volume on the Armenian tradition. Why not? He did English. He did Latin. Why not Armenian? And that would be amazing too. But you see a lot of the so-called integralists and other right-wing factions in the United States 
realizing that they're being defeated by electoral politics. And so they may be seeking non-electoral politics at the same time for their victory to be total. They have to do some sort of homage to the left. And I think Kanye West is the ultimate alt centrist. And so I believe if there's ever going to be a Catholic king in the United States of America, which sounds crazy, um, it would be Kanye West and he would be a black Catholic king. So let me make the bold prediction that in 2024, Kanye West will be the black Catholic ADOS king of the United States of America or whatever is left of it. Now he's an interesting alt centrist in that his right wing and left wing positions aren't always straightforward. You don't really know what is going to lead to that. And I think that's because he's got a little bit of populism in him. You know, he's going to legalize weed, but then he's also going to criminalize abortion. He'll probably be against gay marriage and give you those $2,000 checks that you're looking for. He's a, he's a very strange guy, and I can easily see him bringing someone up like Tulsi Gabbard, who's another one of these figures who is hard to identify in the normal left and right spectrum. He'd probably throw her and some other oddballs into the mix in very high positions, and it would be very interesting to see. But go and listen to the album. Again, Emmanuel by the Sunday service. It begins with the haunting liturgy of death, the mass for the dead. It goes on uh, to classics, just absolutely classics of Western civilization, but he puts his own spin on it and he has black people singing in Latin. And that is amazing in my opinion. So watch him and bet on him.